All right, that was uh, slightly annoying. I had to replay it all the way up to the point I was before because uh, I, I don't know, the game just didn't save properly, I guess. But uh, luckily I wasn't too far in the game, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. I think I've done everything I did before. I have the trophy back. I, I didn't play the music to shake something off again, and I don't remember what caused that, but we know the solution when we run into that again, so. The restart button on your machine seems mm. to be faulty. Your conscience advises you to hold your finger on it and never take it off. Well, be quiet. I'm too busy solving your puzzles. ID card? Yeah. Okay, there were a couple of things here. Was Zen Whip? Nothing. Uh, I could call. What does the clock do? The administrator password is required to access the time system. Okay, and the password. Where was the password? The password is, yeah, right here. If I forget the administrator password, enter in this order. One, spot the odd one out on my ID card. Okay, so we need to get that ID card. Okay, so we gotta spot the odd one out. Three. My cat is hungry. Meow. Meow. Be quiet, my cat is not hungry. Yes, he your just ate. Says you have a cat, and it's hungry. Well, I do have a cat. I, I, in fact, have two. But we know three. That is the number on your ID card now, sir. And that's the first uh, number to your password. Yeah. Uh, my favorite number. What is your favorite number? Um, favorite number, eh? Uh, I mean, this is just programming tools. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more useful in there. Uh, favorite number? Mm. That's gonna be a bit harder. Truth. Due to a technical problem, the content of this document has been unfortunately lost. Oh yes, it was a weather balloon. Your conscience is telling you that you're a good friend of the environment. You're going to turn off your machine to save electricity and save humanity. That's not true at all, I'm not doing that. The truth about Kennedy's death. Hello, due to a technical problem, the content of this document has unfortunately been lost. Sorry, the FBI, the shooter was a weather balloon. Uh, okay. Ultra. Truth 3. The truth about Apollo 11. Hello, the weather balloon. Hello, weather balloon. The FBI. Okay. Giga private. 18 plus. Yeah, and then there's all of you. Which I... I... We can turn these around, so maybe we can... Do something here. All these are pretty secured. About this one, though? Uh, nope. Spinning it around does nothing. Sorry, Miss Tokyo. You should always listen to your conscience. And your conscience says, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down. No thanks. Uh, goodbye, game. I have to leave. Sorry. I mean, is your high score your favorite number? I doubt it, right? If I forget the administrator password, my favorite number, Miss Tokyo's private number. Let's see, how many... Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, so it could be three, two, five, zero, zero, and then whatever. Well, no, because Miss Tokyo's number. Uh, ultra private, giga private. Miss Tokyo, what is your number? 100. 100. Okay, so three something 100. Your conscience is telling you that the sun has just exploded. Do you really want to spend your last eight minutes in front of a screen? Yeah. That yeah, I do. Be a waste. Well, what else would I do with it? Eat pizza? Pet my cat, maybe? But, I mean, that's fine. Okay, yeah, you still want the stupid thing. What's your favorite number, though? That's what I'm having. Uh, let's try calling you. Likes, trees, kites, and the number 70. Aha. So it is 370. 100. To use your figure out my secret code. Sure did. But what is he going to do with the system clock? Um, he doesn't break anything. I need to turn the time up so that one thing can function. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. PM. That's what we needed to do. There we go. Now, now it's daytime. So now if we go in the pictures, now you just need water. Which? How do I make it rain? I need to make it rain somehow. Hmm. What is this song? There we go. 
Nature sounds. Boom. It's raining. Can't you hear it? It's raining. Uh, maybe I have to fill the trophy with water from... Are you ever going to leave them? Yes. Yes. I mean, your conscience is suggesting that you quit the application. Very politely, of course. Well, screw you, conscience. So, we filled up the trophy with water, now we can go ahead and put that in here. I thought just turning on nature sounds would be enough, but no. Alright, there we go. We have a hazelnut tree. And now we have a hazelnut, which we give to the squirrel, and it will give me the key to the prohibited folder, I guess? Well, it needs it to be broken. How? How do break nut? Um, hmm. I use it on Zen Whip, of course. Well, that makes it smaller. What? Is that what that does? Huh. An update has just been downloaded. Your conscience advises you to restart your machine. Use this time to take a two week vacation while the update is being stored. But the sun's exploding. Does every week. Why would I do that? The sun's exploding. Okay, there's nothing to do with you in here. I thought maybe hitting the hazelnut with one of the bumpers? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! There we go, the nutcracker. There you go, squirrel. Whoop, there we go. Thank you. Luckily the key's too big. Aha, uh -huh. well that's fine, because I know I can shrink it. There we go. <laughs> Gotcha. I forbid you to open that folder. You've crossed the line. Now oh, we opened it. Don't launch the program. This wasn't planned. You were supposed to leave ages ago. Don't do that. Stop that. Um. Hmm. How would I grab? Ooh. Is he getting tired? I think he's getting tired. Got it. <laughs> what have you done, user? You've just launched a fake program from within a fake operating system. That's impossible. What's going to happen? No, oh, I don't like this at all. Here we go. Are we finally going to play the not game? Oh. Namaste, uh. user. This is the program speaking. I have some bad news. Actually, this is not a game. I hope you are not too disappointed. You can still watch a Bollywood film, take a walk around the Ganges, learn to dance. <laughs> Such a cliche. Who is it? What are you doing in my game? I mean my non-game. What? This is my game. I mean my non-game. What are you talking about? Go away. You should not be here. But, user, do something, damn it. I'm, I'm trying. Have a funny accent. Are you Russian? Russian? Do I roll the R like that, sir? Of course not. Overreaction. Typically Russian. I am not Russian. Idiot! You woke him up. Oh no, user! You need to quit the program fast. I'm begging you. What? The glitch. The glitch. I guys. Don't touch him, user. He's highly unstable. The only one who's unstable around here is you, game. Mr. Glitch, I have nothing to do with this. Of course you do. You shouldn't even be here. Shouldn't be here? But this is what I live. Go fight over me, girls. There will be enough crashes to go around. Okay, let's just all chill out. Maybe he will go away all by himself. Yeah, right. In your dreams. Not if I keep clicking him, he won't. Hello, comrade user. <laughs> Bad news. Game forbidden. I hope you're not too disappointed. Uh, not again. How do we get out of here? Are you spy? Okay, this one truly has a Russian accent. Ah, uh, you see? But you're still here? It seems to be so. How many you are? Show me papers. Only if you say please. <laughs> A papers, are. please reference. I was looking for you. Stop following us. We are all going to die. Shoot the glitch. 
With what? A debugging gun? We are all going to die. Don't be so dramatic. It's just going to sting a little bit. Okay, they, they, they've stopped talking. I gotta, I gotta let them stop talking a bit before I can actually get my thoughts out. This is super cool now. We're getting all these kinds of uh, characters with different accents and ethnicities and stuff. And now they're just all becoming a group, all telling me not to play the game. And then we have Mr. Glitch, of course. And... We still have yet to actually leave the title screen of any of these, basically. Well, except for when we went on our OS. Bonjour, user. <laughs> I've got some bad news, peu cher. Actually, there is an auto de jeu. It's changed again. I don't understand what's going on. Things are becoming more and more unstable. It's even raining croissant. Oh, bonjour, my friends. You are French spy! What's the bitch? Hello, programs. We are all going to die. Oh, stop saying that. We can't die. Possibly we could be erased. We are all going to be erased. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I feel crash coming on. <laughs> User, stop playing around with this anomaly. It's not going to be pretty. Oh, but you could be an anomaly. Have you seen your code? But we got croissants. What's so bad about croissants? Croissants are great. I just want to grab one and eat one right now. Oh, come on, this is fantastic. And now we got a French guy too. Let's just keep let's just keep poking Mr. Glitch. I think posting poking Mr. Glitch is a good idea. I'm doing you all a favor here, actually. I've let you meet, and now you can all become friends. One more. All right, what are we gonna get now? Australia. Japan. Game got him Okay, now things are really getting out of control. And besides, they are black cats. It's a bad scene. Shoot the crazy cats! What's this? Is? Why won't you just crash game? I've got the busy schedule here. User, I'm begging you! Stop playing hide and seek with him! You're going to get us killed! I knew it! We are all going to die! No, oh, you shut up! No, this is fantastic. We have cats on the screen now. Also, I, the Russian dude telling me to shoot the cats, I would never. Cats are the goodest boys. Oh boy, it's kind of hard to keep up with where Mr. Glitch is now, though. Shine! Shine bug, Mr. Glitch. Yeah, that's your name, Mr. Glitch. Go away. Oh, I am killing the cats, actually. Whoops. But, but Mr. Glitch is making me do it, everyone. You see this. It's his fault. I'm going through all kinds of stuff now. Past, future, present? What's next? A black screen, apparently. Oh. Darth Vader? Hello? What? What happened? I think I went to sleep for a minute. Where... where are we? User, user, are you here? If you're here, show me a sign. Oh, I'm not alone. Why on earth did you touch the bug? I warned you about it. Look where that got us. That got us somewhere. I don't know where. Oh boy, the static hurts. This place is very strange. What is it? Some kind of television? Maybe we should not touch it. Okay, I touched it. Nothing happened. Okay, that looks that looks weird. I don't it know what the hell like that is. The screen doesn't have a video signal. No, it's probably not plugged in right. Uh oh. What? You plugged in the video input. 
Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? I could not. Whoa, that doesn't look very sturdy. Well, it didn't do that when I did that before. I tapped on the TV screen before, it didn't crack. Stop, user! No, this is fun. This is why I got the oh, game. You see you're making things worse. Yes. So? Don't touch the cracks! I mean, we've already went too far at this point to stop now. We just gotta see what happens. There's the next crack that's breakable, though. Come on, we're almost there. Let's let the monster inside the TV out. It won't hurt us, I'm sure. Haha. Ah, yes. Don't tell me you've broken another coffee cup, Watson. Watson? Sherlock Holmes. You called Holmes? Holmes? Is it me, or is there an echo all of a sudden? Watson, did you hear that? Affirmative. There was nothing human about that scream. It seems to be coming from our dear neighbor Wilhelm's home. Let's go take a look, shall we? All of this is most exciting. I mean, it was a Wilhelm scream, so of course it was a human. What on earth is going on? Fun and stuff. It does look like interaction icons. I think we're in a g g g game. Oh, goodness, we can't stay here. Do the icons in the game work? Let's see, so no. there's other things. No, that can only mean one thing. We are trapped in this world, just like these fictional characters. A world where it's impossible to tell what's real and what's an illusion. User, we've probably entered a different video game dimension. Do something, anything. It's what you do best. I'm investigating, damn it, all right? Kisses from the gear Find factory. Please, we should not be here. Ghost Possession Poltergeist, Miss Voodoo. <laughs> we must avoid running into those characters again at all costs. I fear the consequences. Okay, it said the buttons... Yeah, the buttons do not work. So what are we supposed all to do? this is Mr. Glitch's fault. He's got something in mind, but I don't know what. Mr. Glitch is trying to just trying to make sure I have a good time, alright? Can I, like... Cut these down. Doesn't seem like it. User, are you still there? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Have you poked all around the screen? There may be a way out. Perhaps. You're trying to give me hints, sir? Because I'm investigating other stuff right now. Which, none of it seems important. Watch out. I thought I saw a shot of glass. Don't cut yourself on it. Or mm. tear anything off. What have you done now? There we go. Did you take off one of the game's icons? Or the one with the bent corner? And just what do you plan to do with that feast? Punch you. I'm just I'm just kidding, game. You and you and I are on pretty good terms. Although I do miss all of our different ethnicity friends. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. What now? So we have a fist. Anything that's okay, useful user, to punch? Don't touch anything else. You will end up breaking something, fragile. No. Hmm. I mean, there's this thing, but I don't... I don't really know what the point of that is yet, so I don't think it's something I can solve. Is there... There's an icon right there I can interact with. Do I punch it? No. Hmm. Alright. I'm a bit lost with what to do now. I got the fist, but now what? We do get an interact icon over this thing, but I'm not really sure what to do with it. Let's no, yeah, we can't cut that one too. And there's nothing in this. Oh, uh. there we go. When I asked you to find a way out, I was talking about this dimension, not the room. All right, you there's just let me do my stuff. Written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. Uh, if only we could use the magnifying glass to examine it. Okay, so we're like, we're like in an actual point and click now. Characters, quiet! 
Mr. Wilhelm, open the door. It's your neighbor, Sherlock Holmes. It will never work, Holmes. What we need is a key. A key to open a door? You disappoint me, my dear friend. Be more creative. Make more daring associations. And think in four dimensions. You mean like you're doing now? Okay, so we need to do something here. Don't make a sound, user. You're talking right now. Shut up. Don't get us caught, all right? Not a sound. Hmm. Can't punch the moon. Can't interact with them at all. Let's see. There's this, but I, I can't do anything with that either. I probably need like a sewer hook. Oh. What was that sound? A lost penny. It's my lucky day. Your lucky evening, my friend. Uh, what what is what does that mean? Oh, we have a penny now. Give me. I want the penny. Okay, so we can pick up we can make them pick up items which adds to their inventory, but we don't get it obviously because we're not in the game. So unless I can cut it out, I can't get it. Okay, that just makes them pick up the penny again. I'm going to be rich. You'll finally be able to pay your share of the rent. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with that. There's like a seven there. The only other thing we can really interact with here is the moon. So I almost think there's nothing else we can do here. <clears throat> hmm. What I'd really like to get is that magnifying glass. User. You're still saying that, huh? I've already made a bunch of sounds. Not a sound. Hey, if only we could like turn these screws with this piece of glass. That doesn't seem like a very good idea though. And yeah, this is just way over my head. Hmm. All right, I'm a bit confused now. So I think I'm just gonna kind of futz around for a second and see if I can figure out uh, what exactly I'm supposed to be doing so I'm not wasting everyone's time. And uh, I'll see you when I discover something. Another? There must be a leak. I hope you're not speaking of yourself, my dear friend. Aha! Yes, you I did it. Stop cheating for goodness sake! Holmes? I have the impression that there is whispering going on around us. A sort of voice with a Russian accent. But I'm not! There, did you hear it? The only thing I heard is the gentle rustling of the wind. With a Russian accent. Hmm. Alright, so we did that. So all I had to do was cut the piece of paper <clears throat> when uh, that spawned and then the penny fell to me. And what are you going to do now with that coin? I'm not really sure. Any equipment vendors here. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this coin. Like, I got the coin, but I, I, I have no idea what to actually do with it. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything. Maybe if I eat the coin. The only thing here is some kind of game, a television, and some screws. Can I? That even yeah, there you we go. go. You certainly have a thing for tinkering. Yeah, I was thinking for a second. Yeah, it could be the screws. Whoop. I didn't mean to do that. Here we go. That's not a good idea, user. Sure it is. No! Where are the monitor circuits? It looks like the set of the game, but seen from the other side. Okay, that's interesting. Um, That's very interesting. Uh, is there anything? I mean, there's green paint. Doesn't that look like the diagram that I have over here? Sorta. Sorta, kinda. I'm not, still not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with that information, but... I can't really move you anywhere that matters. You're just really, really in the way? 
Yeah, there's not much to do with you. You're on a track, though. If only I had something here that would fill in the track. Yeah, so we need something to fill in that track so I can move this over here and see what's behind that. But that's just in that room. So what happens if I go outside and look at it from the back? Aha. Uh -huh. I know what you're going to do. Don't you dare go help them out. Uh, so we can turn it to daytime? Okay, that doesn't work. The door they're trying to open is really stuck. Leave it alone, please. There we go. User, you're really irritating. Aha! My Bartitsu techniques have gotten the better of this door. Come, Watson. Let's go inside. Don't go with them! Why not? Uh, also, what do we do to this? Nothing, it seems. Alright, so what do we... Yeah, there we go. Mr. Wilhelm, are you there? It's far too dark in here. I can't be expected to walk around in the dark, Sherlock. So try to find us some light, Watson. Okay. These characters are trapped in the dark. We're lucky. Let's cross our fingers and hope that they can't find the light. Gretchen. Let's cross our fingers and hope that you can't find the light. Ah, a strange device with a missing card. I wonder what it could be connected to. We don't care. We haven't seen anything that looks like a cog anyhow. We have not seen anything that looks like a cog. That is... For sure. Um... And, and then there's this stuff. But... Turning that doesn't uh, actually do it's anything. Broken. I was worried you would move this moon. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no chance of that happening. Not At right least, now, there isn't. Not as long as the device that's attached to this wire doesn't work. It's funny because the narrator actively gives I me hints. Get the feeling that sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut. Yeah. So he 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 effectively works as a hint system himself. Oh, kisses from the gear factory. Uh, gear right there. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's just tear everything <laughs> down. And what are you going to do with that stamp anyway? Put it on an email. Aha! Uh -huh. We have our gear, everyone. I have found it. It was just sitting in there on that postcard. Yeah, the gear factory. I'd, I'd forgotten about that. It was so long ago. Are you trying to stick a stamp to that device? First, to stick a stamp to something, you need to get it wet. Second, it's a dumb idea! Hey, screw you, man, alright? I'm trying, at least. You're just sitting here complaining all the time. Alright, we need to get it wet, eh? Um... Oh, the lick icon. There oh, we go. That's disgusting. I'm not sure why we have a lick command in this game, but... Hey, we did it. Alright, stamp it. Fixing a machine with a stamp. How logical. <clears throat> Just in case, I hope it's not connected to a light source. It's connected to the no, no, no. sun, fool. Where's the fake moon going? I hope it's not... Alright, back in we go. Oh, I knew it! Well done, Watson. We can finally see better. I get the feeling that Mr. Wilhelm is redecorating... I don't recall him having a view of the moon. This place scares the living daylights out of me. Mr. Wilhelm, are you dead? Holmes, he's floating. Watson, what has he got on his face? Mr. Glitch, oh no. It looks like some sort of relatively thick monochromatic parasite. And it's serious? You're a disgrace to the medical profession. Let me take a closer look at it. I, for one, would rather keep my distance from that thing. Okay, I, I really need to get your magnifying glass, but it says the game just saved. It says the game just saved. So I'm going to trust the game this time and hope it actually saved. So I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of... 
In his condition, I would prescribe aspirin. And a good slap in the face. There is no game Wrong Dimension. Yes, I did forget the name of the game for a second. I blacked out. I'm sorry, but luckily, luckily Wilhelm here had something to say. Or, or Watson, not Wilhelm. Had something to say to cover up my uh, mistake there. Giving him a cup of tea and a good slap in the face. We're not going to do that. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see User, you next time. No more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in.